You ever just want to quit your job, buy a boat, sail around the world? Well, what if we told you that was possible? I'm Rad. And I'm Sasha. With more willpower than money and a dream to become pirates, we bought a sinking sailboat and spent the next nine months transforming it into one of the sexiest boats on the seven seas. There is nothing that can get in the way of us sailing around the world. So grab your popcorn, hit subscribe, and be prepared for one hell of a story. The story of our lives. This is the journey of Spirit Animal. Last week, we started ripping apart our boat so we could begin the construction of our new floorboards. We drove an hour north, picked up a truckload of lumber, drove back down to the boat and started planning out our layout. Then we took all of our measurements and started cutting them off site. Let's hope our measurements are true and we cut straight. match and your creases match. That is toit toit. That's as tight as it gets. Good job on the measurement. You can't even tell. All right, it is cold out tonight. It's freezing. And we have... First set of floorboards. First set of floorboards coming out to the boat. Time to unload these bad boys. Oh, good driving. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go. It's freezing up here. Once we got the new floor panels unloaded off the dinghy, we went inside and we started cleaning the grid, as well as removing the old trim and glue from the support beams. I don't know what kind of glue they use, but I need some of that in my life. I need that. That way we had a nice, clean, flat surface to lay down our new floorboards and make sure that they fit properly. So we've begun to lay them down. We gotta fix a couple corners, but it's looking good. Real good. It's gonna look so good. I cannot believe how well this worked out. Raph, you're very good at measuring. Thank you. Yeah. The sawdust awesome. helps my synapses fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We have had a few very cold mornings. This morning we woke up and it was 44 degrees outside. 
And we have no heat in the boat, which why would we? But the only way we know how to keep ourselves warm is the only form of heat that we have. Raph, you look a little chilly. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it is chilly. It's cold. <laughs> it's uh. freezing. We are finishing up some of our final pieces. This is gonna go underneath our table along the starboard side of the boat. Tricky part of this piece is it's 40 and a quarter inches wide and our hatch is only 39 or 37 inches wide. We gotta hope that we can take off the handle and slide that hatch in more to give us a couple extra inches. If not, we're gonna have to cut this thing down the middle. That is a huge thing actually when designing these floors. We had other designs, but a lot of the pieces couldn't fit through the hatch. Uh, same with appliances, same with just countertops and sinks and all that. You gotta know what you can fit in your boat. And I wrote an inch and a half over. By two inches it would be three and a half. Inch and a half. And there. <laughs> we just finished cutting the rest of our floorboards. Well, uh, for the exception of our office and our kitchen, which oh, well, actually, minor, but to be Honest, we just finished leaving Taco Tuesday. Okay, we just finished. Slamming margaritas. <laughs> but before that, we finished cutting all of our floorboards. And we have them all loaded up in the dinghy. So, now we gotta go take them back to the boat. And I guess tomorrow morning, after we sleep off these margs. <laughs> we're doing a two for one. Okay, we're doing a two for one hit yoga class to begin with to burn off the margs and then we'll come back and we'll fit everything and hopefully made the right cuts but i'm pretty confident in no. when, you, when she says two for one we're doing a yoga class for an hour and then we're doing a fit class for an hour because <laughs> all the girls are feeling extra confident after the margaritas <laughs> well yeah we got all the guys to come work out with us so <laughs> might have to give you guys a sneak peek into what that looks like tomorrow morning before we finish placing all the rest of our floorboards. But first we gotta get them all back to the boat in the dinghy. I'm so, whoop. oh shoot. I'll just sit over here. That's a good idea. I didn't have that many margaritas, okay? Raphael, do you have anything to say? Yeah, I'm blind. See if we can fit this fat boy through that tiny hole. <laughs> it's not gonna happen actually. Unless we take this off and slide that way back. And even then, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Ah, oh. super sick. Super sick. In order for us to see if this thing will fit, we gotta unscrew this thing to try to see if this can come out to try to give us a couple more inches to get it through. Hold on, I got it. The board's blocking it. 
we don't have a drill bit. So we're just gonna have to chip this out. All our drill bits are at the work site. Just enough. it up more oh, oh my god look at that it works? literally eight, eighth of an inch and we wouldn't have made it <laughs> oh my god that was lucky we got pretty lucky there. wow wow <laughs> oh, we did it! All right, let's set it up. Let's see how it looks. You want to see some router porn? Oh yeah, router porn. <whistles> I'm telling you, man, looks like a damn CNC machine cut that one out. Solid. Wow. Damn, you can't even see that scene. You can't get closer than that. Mm -mm. That's beautiful. Wow, that looks so good. And it fits nice and tight. All the way around these and that. You happy with that one? Yeah. Raph, are you awake? I'm awake. Can we Let's grab go. the Celsius behind you? Do you want one? Yeah. Alright. And we are going to morning yoga this morning. Root. Meet Brett, Jade, and Hurricane Ayana, who's known around town for giving out hurricane shots to the spring breakers at the local bar. Only cat fives, of course. Some of you might know Brett and Jade as Expedition Evans from their YouTube channel. They also go through a very extensive refit on the grid of their boat. It just so happens they own a 49-foot Beneteau that has a lot of similarities to ours, so it's really nice to have someone to brainstorm with on the rebuilds that we're going through. We all randomly met here on Anchor and hung out on a daily basis. Unfortunately, we don't have as much footage as we'd like because the last thing YouTubers want to do when we all hang out is more YouTube. Regardless, you'll see these guys in future episodes, so we wanted to give them a brief introduction. Now back to the yoga. Let's go. <laughs> Group yoga. Okay, so I had to share this. This is funny. Brett, oh, I have food on my face. You did. Oh, awkward. So Brett and Jade from Expedition Evans just dropped off some hard kombucha because they didn't want any more. They're doing a little boat cleaning, which all of us are doing, and. In the time they gave it to us, and the time they left the boat, which was like two minutes, Raph literally chugged. Where is that bottle? <laughs> chugged the entire one. I thought kombucha was was healthy, <laughs> and now I'm pretty dizzy. <laughs> now he's drunk. <laughs> We're trying to finish the floors, and Raph, you're getting drunk. <laughs> Stuff slaps a little harder than a Bud Light. <laughs> it's like, I thought kombucha was healthy. Six <laughs> percent. Damn. <laughs> Damn, you're gonna get dizzy. I already am. Feel good. <laughs> that was. Rehydrate with kombucha after hot yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was hilarious. I was laughing my booty off. <laughs> that was funny. We spent a ton of extra time measuring down to the 32nd of an inch to try to get the lines to match down the entire length of the boat. But due to the imperfections of the boards, this was impossible. We've decided that adding trim between the panels will look better and also take your eyes off the lines not being exact.
Oh, that might be heavier than the fridge. <laughs> you might think it's easy to measure these floors, but let me explain just how much planning goes into even the simplest of panels. This office section, for instance. Before we could come up with the floor layout here, we had to decide on the office layout, which takes a ton of future planning and decision making, especially when there's endless possibilities. So once we came up with a plan, we decided on two separate floorboards, one easy little L shape and one crazy ass board. Why two? Well, we decided to put a cabinet here and we want the L shape piece in front of it to be removable so we have access to the storage that lies underneath. So let's use this one as an example. Now, an L cut seems pretty straightforward and easy, but did you notice that rounded corner in the fiberglass? This prevents us from putting the tape measure directly in the corner to get the exact measurement of this L. So let's hold the tape measure back a couple inches and eyeball it. Well, if we're off even the slightest bit, then you'll have a gap all the way down this edge or this edge. So just set it in there and then trim it down afterwards. Well, if we do that, then this is gonna throw off the distance between all of our white lines, which is why we have to be so precise and exact on our cuts the first time. This is the thought process behind each and every board. And if we overlook any of these small little details, then we're in for one of two things, a very expensive mistake or a tacky looking floor. We are at our offsite location. We're going to be doing all of our wood cutting. A few minor adjustments. Fort Lauderdale hillbillies. That's how you'll see us going down the road. Got quite the collection of wood there. That's how we roll. It's all going on the dinghy. <laughs> yeah, we got to get this all back to the boat. Well, some of this is garbage, but all this wood. Back to our workstation on the boat. All the rest of the floor panels that we just cut, any extra wood we need, stuff to make the kitchen. Finally have a kitchen. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? We got a long way till we got a kitchen. Okay, well, you know what? But we got the wood to make it. it. Exactly. But now we just gotta get all this back on the boat. Here you go, madam. Found myself a little perch on top. Ah! On top of all of this. Got to get us back safe. Pressure's on. <laughs> What's pressure? Baby, Davy Crockett, King of the Spirit. We might as well have a log raft right now. Could make a wrap and then you decided to see. Oh. oh no, how are we supposed to find that? Rookie move. Rookie move? Who are you calling? Put all the weight. Look, if the cooler pinches this, then we run out of gas and up there. Oh. It's you pinching. Want the cooler it. at all or no? Sure. Hell no. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't look at that before. Oh boy. Come on. I can't. Right. Okay. Ugh. Here. Please start. Back at it. Not scrap. Now we're sorting through the wood, separating the scraps from the cut pieces that are good. It's tough to know what to throw away, so we hold on to every little piece, which is also tough because we're stacking it in a boat that's already a disaster. Okay, so we got this piece fitted. It sits nice, flush along this edge. We gotta cut this back piece. It's an odd shape, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna draw a line where that board's gonna hit. I've taped a pencil right to the very edge. If you lay this flat, you'll see that pencil tip is even with it. 
So now we're going to make us a line. That'll give us a rough idea of how big our board needs to be. So, if you lay this piece of plywood straight, that means the top of that plywood is going to hit right there on that pencil. See that? So, I'm going to cut this piece of plywood that long, and I'm going to cut this edge at an angle so that when this thing slides up, you won't have this gap. There will be an angle cut right here so that it's as flush as possible because you're going to be able to see a lot of these areas where it touches under the desk. Now it's time to turn our boat into a floating wood shop. Continuing to transfer all the boards to and from our friend's house, we figured it would be best to fire up the generator and make all the final detailed cuts on the boat. Not only did we do a lot of trimming, but we also cut down some of our finished panels to make a better layout. Once everything started to fall into place, we fell in love with our new floorboards and the way it transformed the entire inside of the boat. Amazing. Beautiful fit. Amazing. That looks awesome. Exactly. Look how these lines just match up. These lines. All the way to the back room. Every single line is as close as you can get it. Everything matches up beautifully. We just have to work on the supports, screw down the boards that are going to be screwed down, glue down all these transition pieces, and refinish. Not refinish, finish Everything. all the wood. We have officially finished cutting all of the wood panels. Okay, minus a little like four by five square. That's besides the point. So now we have to figure out where we're gonna stain them. Finish them. Where we're gonna finish them? With polyurethane. Clear gloss. We had a very, very windy night last night. Um, tried to get some extra sleep to get an early start, but we kept thinking that we broke off the mooring, things were flying outside, we thought we secured everything and then something else would be flying. We lost a bean bag. But we found it. Um, so now we're just trying to brainstorm the next step. I think we're what we're gonna do is get started on the kitchen. So excited about that. I have been doing the dishes in our little baby sink. What are you doing? I'm doing dishes in the bathroom sink. <laughs> a small space, but making it work. Which is not easy, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So what we're gonna do is, oh shoot. That was zoomed in probably in my nostril. What are you working on over there? <laughs> Fixing our heater. <laughs> we're so cold in here. We got a stove going, but we got so many damn holes in this place. <laughs> the heat's escaping. <laughs> okay. We've got the stove on, we've got some water boiling for some warm humidity. Guaranteed this is going to drop the temp. Or wait, raise the temp like... 10 degrees? At least. At least. Well, 
while we are making it warm in here, we're going to go ahead and get started on cleaning all of these compartments. Um, we want to get the kitchen framed out today. We're going to, are we going to put some shellac? What are you putting underneath? Shellac. Is that what it is? Yeah. But we're going to use poly for everything else, but shellac dries so quick that we're going to put it on the bottom side of this board so we can go ahead and start framing out the kitchen. Yeah. We want the underside of it sealed so that no moisture rots the wood. I don't think you can see it, but, and then also get this all cleaned out so that way we can get our kitchen put together and have, get started on cleaning the boat because it needs a very deep cleaning. Anyways, let's get started! <laughs> <laughs> Crack it. We sanded all the boards down with 220 grit sandpaper so we could take them off site to finish them. Well, we finally had all of the floorboards laid, but now we have to finish them. And we can't do it on the boat. We could do it on the boat. We it could. would take a long time. Take a long time, it would be really smelly in our living space. So uh, we have another place where we can lay them all on the floor and hopefully tomorrow night get the last coat of finish on. So in two days, we shall have floorboards on the boat again. More permanently this time, right? Yes. <laughs> I like Very more permanent. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of our new patrons who signed up, as well as the upper tier patrons that get a plaque on the spirit animal, and everyone else who continues to like and share our videos. 